Meet me. Welcome back to another one of Dr. Squirrel's famous guide videos. Now today we're not really going to go over gameplay, but we're going to talk about browser-based calculators. Now as you progress in this game, you're going to have a lot of questions about like how good is my gear? Should I use my attack set? Should I use my destruction set? All these questions where you can get some BS off the top of their head answer from a guildie who isn't really thinking about your problems, or you can get a definitive mathematical numerical answer to your questions that will make it a no-brainer decision and that's why calculators are so important now there are other calculators out there i'm not going to go over every calculator in existence but i just wanted to get your guys feet wet with three calculators that i personally love and used all the time in the past and some of them still currently and if there are other calculators you also want to use go for it and share it in the comment section below so that other people find out about them um, I don't really know who made these calculators. I'll try to find out and put it in the video description, but shouts out to them. I did not make any of these calculators. I'm not trying to take credit for them. So today we're going to talk about three calculators specifically, and I'll show you guys how to use them. So number one is an Epic 7 damage calculator. Number two is an Epic 7 gear grader. Now you know I have my Dr. Squirrel's famous formula, but it only gives you a very rough number. This calculator will give you an exact number. And number three is a Labyrinth Morale Calculator. So let's get started right away and talk about these calculators. So this first one, my favorite one actually that I use all the time that all of you guys should be using too, is an Epic 7 damage calculator. Now you can see the URL here, but I'll put them all in the video description as well. So a lot of times people are always asking me like, should I go attack crit on my guy? Should I go destruction crit on my guy? And honestly, it's an impossible question for me to answer without you giving me the exact specifics of each of your set's substats and gear. Like, if you have a great attack set but a crappy destruction set, obviously the answer is use attack set. But you don't really have to ask me, guys. Just come to this calculator and let's say you were trying to build a Vildred, right? You have the manage equipment screen, so equip your best attack set and your destruction set, and then you basically just plug your stats in right into this calculator, and it will tell you exactly how much damage you're going to do. And then you can just go off to somewhere and say, oh, my destruction set actually gives me more damage, or oh, my attack set gives me more damage. And then based on that, you can choose what to use. So let's just go over how to use this. So here, you can even pick artifacts. So this tool is really like all-inclusive. Let's say um, you don't have ports. So I'm gonna use an Exorcist Tonfa, and you can even specify the level of your artifact. Let's say it's a max Exorcist Tonfa, and you'll notice that the damage down here changes as you move this bar. Then let's say um, you can even do like starter gear, but let's say you end up with exactly, oh, my uh, numpad was off, um, exactly three, thousand attack you have no imprints you have no attack percent increase imprint let's say you are able to get up to 300 crit damage and the target i usually just say like 1000 i just leave that as default because you don't really know what their um, defense is and then you can even do other things like this like let's say you max molded everything and notice all the damage numbers keep changing and then let's say hmm I'm going to use Vildred on a cleave team. I wonder if it's worth it to bring a defense breaker. You click this and say, whoa, I do way more damage if I bring a defense breaker. Or, whoa, I need an attack buffer because I do so much more damage. Like, look at the difference here. This is why cleave teams often need an attack buffer and decreased defense. Without any of those things, his SG will do 54-64 damage on a crit with 3k attack and 300 crit damage. With increased attack and decreased defense, he's going to hit for 18k. That's why those debuffs are so important. But basically, you can play around with this calculator, and it's really going to help answer all your questions about what gear you should use. You won't have to just guess or just like pretend that, oh, crit damage is more important than attack. No, you'll know exactly what combination is going to do maximum damage for you guys. And you'll know what you need to bring because, oh, maybe somehow like Alexa's basket, like you're just going to bank on it parking because it gives me so much more damage. All of those questions can be answered with this tool. So if you have any questions, leave in the comment section below. Let's move on to tool number two which is this snazzy 
little gear quality grader. Now, if you saw my equipment guide, if you haven't, I recommend you watch it. I had a really basic squirrel formula for rating your gear, um, but it was really simplistic and just meant to allow you to assign a score in like five seconds flat, but it wasn't very exact. This tool is very exact. So basically what this tool does is if you look at the score, 100% means that it is the maximum possible quality that gear can ever get to like this is virtually impossible you'll never have a hundred percent basically anything above like 70 percent is pretty good if you get like above 80 it's honestly pretty godly but let's discuss how to evaluate this gear so let's say you had an epic piece of equipment that was plus 15 if you look here, you'll have ranges like this one shows like 0 to 282. That Those are the maximum possible rolls. Remember, if you watch my equipment guide video, you have base max rolls. And then every single roll at each three increment also has a roll range. So let's say you had something that um, had 8% attack, 8% defense, 8% health, and then, uh, I don't know, 30% crit. If you calculate this, It'll tell you, godlike year, don't forget to lock it. You need to spend 364, I guess it just qualifies it by like drop rate. But here, basically it's saying that a plus 15 gear, this gets confusing because it's like, wait, I can't roll my gear nine times. But what it means is it counts the base roll. So if you have an epic, it counts each of the four starting stats that it comes with as a roll, and then plus an additional five at each plus three. So a total of nine. Like if I did something like heroic, it would um, go over 100% because obviously heroics can't have nine rolls total. So that's a fake number. But here, this is a real number. And because attack, defense, health has a maximum starting roll of eight, and then I put in a BS crit chance number of 30, it rolled, so it thinks it rolled at six times, got 30 at 30, it's perfect. Now this would be godlike gear, but let's do something more realistic. Like normally you get like a wyvern drop and you'll have like six... You know, maybe you got six on this and seven on this and you rolled everything into crit, but you didn't get max rolls. So maybe you got like 21 here. It will say, look, notice how much the number went down. It says uh, 36% of Delta score score is not very high as a good rule and crit chance. Keep it if you want. It even has a little words out of it. It'll tell you that. It rolled like here, one time six out of eight, one time six out of eight, one time seven out of eight. So it'll ex ex tell you exactly how close you got to max rolls. If I do something like 25, it'll go up. 27, it'll go up even higher. So realistically, even a helm like this would be really good. So honestly, if it's above like 70, it's pretty godly because getting maximum rolls every single time, five times is borderline impossible. I'd say if you get anything over 80, that's like one in a million. Even here at 69%, it's saying you need to do 1,778 gears to get to something like this. So I think this tool is pretty self-explanatory, but it'll give you an exact number grade of how much of the maximal potential of your gear you actually got in that one piece. So it's kind of fun to play with. Plug your gear into this and see what percentage score you get. And it'll probably just make you feel really bad. Most of my gear is like below 50, I think. But um, you know, it is fun to see how well some of your gear rolled. Now the final one is um, these two are kind of similar. I actually prefer this one now, but I used to use this one. I'll put links to both, but I consider them the same tool. But in the beginning, when you're trying to build a labyrinth team, nowadays in Hell Raid, it doesn't matter so much because you can only do one boss um, per visit anyway. But if you're doing raid, like a lot of times morale matter because you want to do as many of the 88 mini bosses as possible to get as many 88 defense ring drops as possible. And this makes it really easy. Like you can just type in random heroes here, like let's say Raz, Tamarin, Challenger, Dominio, um, Jellica. I'm just going to type in a bunch of random heroes. Uh, Luluka, Biken, uh, I don't know, Ken, Martial Artist Ken. And basically you just fill in your entire roster of geared characters. And you click this add heroes to roster button. And then you calculate. And then at the bottom... It's going to tell you the team makeups that have the highest morale and it'll give you like every combination of team possible and so that you can, you know, let's say the highest morale one, you know, you can't actually clear raid with it. So you could throw it out and you just keep going down the list until you say like, oh, 
this team actually makes sense. I could run that. And then you just find the highest viable team with the highest morale score. So this is one I used a lot in the beginning. Nowadays, I kind of just auto raids, but um, in the beginning where it was really hard and I was trying to get through all of Labyrinth in the minimum number of clears possible not to waste tokens, these kind of tools were really helpful to me. And um, shout out to Boon... Budan Dan. So shout out to all the guys in mail. Again, I did not make any of these calculators, but they are really helpful. And again, I'm sure there are lots of other ones out there that you guys may have been using already. If you do, share them in the comment section. But I just wanted to show some of you guys three of the ones that I personally use because I know a lot of people out there aren't even aware that these calculators exist. And it can really help you guys answer some critical questions and really bump up the quality of your gameplay. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope some of these calculators were new to you and you can use them and they help you out. Um, if you have any questions for me, leave it in the comment section below. And thanks for watching. Take care, guys.